first outfit that I have here. Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another styling video and this one is going to be all about how to wear dresses in the winter time. Also, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know that I actually updated my hair. So it's a little bit shorter, but not super, super short and a hell of a lot blonder. It doesn't really show in the camera, but if you guys want me to do another hair care video, I'll be more than happy to do it. Just let me know by liking this video or letting me know in the comment section below. But like I said, this one is gonna be all about styling dresses for cold weather. I find myself always gravitating towards wearing pants because A, they just seem a lot warmer, and B, I just get really boring and kind of stuck in my ways in the winter. But if you want to kind of jazz it up a little bit and throw in a dress every now and then, I highly recommend it. I think it looks super cute, especially in the winter time. Just because it's cold doesn't mean that you can't look super fly. <laughs> and I'm just excited to bring this video to you guys and show you guys my best tips and practices and secrets for wearing dresses in the cold. So with that being said, please keep on watching. I'm gonna show you guys a few outfit examples and kind of incorporate my tips like that. So the first outfit that I have here is with the dress that I just thrifted. You guys will know if you guys watched my last video that I thrifted this amazing red plaid kind of like little summer dress. And this is a great way to kind of incorporate your summer dresses in the winter so you can get a little bit more life out of them. And it is by layering a turtleneck under. A lot of you guys suggested me to do this with this specific dress. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. I also wore a pair of tights which is kind of like a go-to thing if you live somewhere really cold and you need to wear a dress or want to wear a dress outside in this type of weather. But I like opaque tights because I think that A, they're a lot hardier so you don't often get a run in them as often as a sheer tight. And also I think that they make you look tall and they're a little bit warmer. So these are the opaque tights. I just picked them up from the Gap when there's a sale. And I also wore my Jaden Doc Martens. Another tip that I have that I absolutely love is wearing a platform shoe. Platform shoes are completely flat, so they're still just as comfortable as a regular kind of sneaker or whatnot, or a regular boot, except you gain a little bit of height, which I absolutely love. The Jadens, you know, they're my go-to. I style them in a number of different ways throughout my channel. Main tips to grab from this outfit is Try layering sweaters or turtlenecks under your summer dresses. You won't regret it. And also, if you are sticking to colors, I like recommend doing two. So I like having that black underlayer and then just that pop of color, in this case red, on the top. Um, I find that this way is really, really flattering and just keeps it a little bit less busy and less likely to be, I guess, frumpy. The next outfit that I have here is kind of just showing you guys to add accessories to your look. Um, I know having like the tights plus dress combination is pretty common, but what really makes a look in the winter time and even throughout the year is to add accessories. So here I have a simple red dress. I wore it with my tights once again. And then I have this chunky boot that I actually got on sale. They're C by Chloe, but they were like a really, really good price. I think I got them 70% off the actual price, which is great. And then Again, it's a platform shoe, so it makes you look super long, makes your legs look great. And then I decided to go in with some kind of camel neutral color slash leopard print accessories. Leopard print, you know, is super, super trendy in, as of 2018 and also going into 2019. And I love this big coat. And one tip I also have for you guys is matching the length of your coat to your dress. I find that is very flattering for pretty much every single body type. It looks great on everybody. And then I added this simple headscarf that also had the leopard print going on and then a simple black chain um, purse. Don't just think about what dress you may be wearing with your tights and so on and so forth. Keep that simple and then just start adding a little bit of layers on top. I think that this really makes the outfit and makes the dress look so much more weather appropriate as well. Next outfit that I have here is with a slip. This is definitely more like a California weather type of vibe. Um, you guys know I love this leopard slip from Princess Polly. You guys know I've been loving leopard print. Um, but one way that I've been seeing a lot of Instagram girls do this is by layering a knit sweater on top. I put on a pair of cowboy boots just because I find this a very trendy type of look at the moment. And honestly, anybody can do it. If you have a longish midi dress as well as a knit sweater, you could definitely do this with a pair of sneakers even. Um, definitely a really good example of how to layer 
and I just really like this. This is so the look I would wear come springtime in Toronto, even though that seems a little bit further away. If you guys are getting a little bit warmer weather now, you're super lucky and you can definitely rock this. So this is kind of like a two in one. So I want to show you guys how you can wear this maxi dress. And I know maxi dresses are like, oh my God, like super daring. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I really, really like this. It's the dress I'm wearing right now. It's by American Apparel. I actually got it at an event, but I'll try to link the exact or similar one in the description box below. I love the high slit because it shows a little bit of leg and um, I just think that this looks really good on everybody once again. I love that it's a solid neutral color and there are just so many different ways to wear it. This is kind of a tribute to the way my mom dressed in the 2000s. She always wore like these midi length skirts with boots and I kind of love this look and I love that it's making a comeback. I've been seeing it all over Pinterest and that's exactly what I did here. I wore my thigh high boots with this longish dress. I love the layer and because the dress is one solid color, even though it may not hit at the like most flat point of your body or whatever I find that this is still super super great and like because you're wearing one solid color you end up looking very long and tall and very model off duty and I also wore my Zara biker jacket on top of this as well as my little Gucci Marmont you guys know this is like my favorite bag in the world. I want to show you guys the second way to wear it, which is definitely something I would go for, for a more like everyday type of vibe. And you can definitely wear tights under this too. I just decided not to for the sake of the magic of video editing and being indoors, but you can wear this with a sneaker or even an ankle booty. Here I have my Doc Martin Jaden boots once again. You guys know, like I love these boots and this is so something I would wear. I actually wore something similar to this on my Instagram and that's why I decided to bring it out again. And I also put on a backpack with it along with a beanie. I think the backpack and the beanie adds a more casual vibe. So it kind of offsets the dressiness of like a maxi or like a longer, um, I guess, gown style dress but again this is so so comfortable this is a really good alternative to wearing sweatpants if you don't want to feel too like I don't know like sloppy and again like super comfortable super trendy and a great way to wear dresses in cold weather I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know which one was your favorite look and if you guys have any tips for wearing dresses in the cold because I would love to hear them and without further ado guys I am gonna go but I'll talk to you guys soon Bye, guys.